Hey guys, it is um, Tuesday, June twentieth. It is um, eighteen sixteen New York local time, and your indicators: Bollinger Bands, MACD, supply and demand, uh, cumulative delta, all the bullshit that you trade. You should probably um, consider something else. Um, okay, so with that being said, um, please make sure to check out my affiliate links for Apex and Top Step, which are on my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to um, take a look at what markets I'm going to be looking at for the Asian silver bullet time frame, which is going to be from 2000 to 2100 New York local time. As always, that is when our Asian stock exchanges are opening. And I'll let you know, I'm not looking for a lot um, of markets. I'm basically looking at the metals, y'all, um, and maybe crude oil. So... Um, that is what I'm looking at. Yeah. And, and the reason why I'm looking at crude oil is we had a lot of sell side taken. And then I'm also looking at the metals because um, silver had a pretty big move down on um, on the Tuesday New York session. So we took out quite a bit of sell side. So I want to see whether we're setting up for uh, further sell side development on silver futures. Um, gold looks like it potentially finally does, you know, maybe wants to actually come out take out this long-term low here at 1936 spot one. So it's possible that we get another breakdown on uh, another breakdown on gold. It's possible that we get another breakdown on silver. We were down 4% on the New York session today. It's possible that we get another breakdown and take out more sell side. So you see that we took out a lot of sell side today on silver. Didn't quite take out that long-term, that four hour sell side on gold. And I don't know, um, it might be that time might be the time of the year that uh, they, they actually want to go in and take out this uh, sell side here uh, on gold. I, I'll be honest with you. I think they will. Um, I think either, I think at some point here pretty soon, uh, we're going to take out the sell side uh, here at 1936 spot, uh, spot one. So for our Asian session today, again, I'm watching the metals uh, and crude oil, um, especially watching gold for a breakdown below 1936 spot one. I'm watching silver for potentially, uh, you know, either a retracement up to like 23 spot five or a breakdown to like 23 spot 025 here. This first sell side liquidity target or the second sell side liquidity target, which is at 22 spot 785. Uh, copper has been more resilient than gold and silver. Obviously, copper has been uh, has been quite a bit more resilient. Um, we've got let me see where our four hour sell side is. So. We're piling up both sides of the book here on copper. Um, we're going to buy. We're we're piling up the buy side liquidity and the sell side liquidity. So, some point here soon on copper, um, they're going to want to go and run uh, one at least one, if not both sides of the book here. So, I am expecting movement on copper soon. Um, they're not going to just allow both sides of the book here to to stay intact. That is uh, not something that the trading algorithms are going to allow. So at some point, we are going to see uh, copper want to come out and clear out some of this liquidity. Um, silver cleared out a lot of the sell side liquidity, but it might want more. Uh, gold on the four hour time frame did not take out its sell side liquidity, which would make me lean bearish on gold uh, in the near term. It's making me think, OK, you know, we've left this sell side in here. Are we are we going to want to go down and potentially go and take it out? So that is it. That's what I'm looking for uh, for the Asian session, Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. If you want to learn more about the ICT silver model setup, it is all over my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more video topics later. Bye.